Now let's try to find out the force between two parallel currents and if no length is specified it means we are talking about infinite conductors right so so let there be a conductor here okay obviously it extends till infinity in both the directions so so it is something like this and there is another conductor which is kind of this extending in both the directions between like that okay and and they are at a distance they are at a distance D. Okay. Let us say one of this is carrying a current. Let this conductor be A, this conductor be B, and and let this be carrying a current of of I A, and let this be carrying a current of magnitude I B. Okay both in the same direction so they are they are infinite parallel conductors separated by a distance d and carrying a current i a and i b we are supposed to find out the force between the the parallel conductors right now let us try to understand due to this due to this current here the force the the, the field here will be according to the right hand rule in a direction that will go vertically downwards here right they are parallel conductors try to apply the right hand rule put your thumb thumb along this and curl your fingers of the right hand it will tend to pass this in the downward direction so so you have you have the the field here as this in the downward direction get that and what is this field equal to so this is B what is this field equal to this field is equal to mu naught I upon 2 pi D is it not the current at a distance r from an infinite conductor the, the field at a distance r from an infinite conductor can be found out by the ampere's law and we had found out found it out to be equal to mu naught i by 2 pi d correct so so and and since the current here is not i rather i a so i write it as i a right correct now the current in this conductor is the current in this conductor is is in this direction so so i should not have overlapped them the current in this conductor is in this direction okay it's in this direction and this current is ib right so they are mutually perpendicular correct they are mutually perpendicular and what is the force what is the formula for the force f is equal to when when you are given i and, and l and b what, what is the what I, is the I l cross b So this is the definition for the force, right? And and my L is in the direction of of I B. We had done that so that because we could not take our current as a vector quantity, right? So F I L cross B 
gives the direction of the force i l l is in the direction of this l cross v so keeping this hinged here i try to move this in this plane right through this angle right so l tries to come through the smaller angle and keeping this hinged L tries to come through the smaller angle and get tries to get aligned with B. Now looking from this direction, this is a clockwise movement. So, 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 and if I move a right-handed screw in the clockwise direction, it will move like this. If, if this was a board, then it will move into the board. So the force direction is, is this. Okay, this is the direction of the force. Do we get that? I D L cross B will be will be towards this wire, right? Now this. So so when I write the force, it is nothing but nothing but I B. Okay. Now, now, in this case, the, the angle between L and B is what? 90 degrees. So, if I just talk about the, if I talk just about the, the, the magnitude of the force, so I remove the vector sign over this, then it is I L into B into sine 90, right? And sine 90 is 1. So, it is I L B. Now this I is for the current that that is under the magnetic field. So this is nothing but I B, right? This is I B, I B into L, let us say it is length dependent, okay? It's there into B, which is this, which is mu naught into I A upon 2 pi d right now what does that become that is nothing but mu naught into i a into i b mu naught into i a into i b into l upon 2 pi d i i drop the vector sign here so so i, I do not need it why because i am moving in the domain of of the magnitude after having pretty well established the direction of the force so I, I it's not that I do not know the direction of the force right we know the direction of the force and it is this uh, it, it is attractive in this case so force per unit length okay force per unit length is mu naught I A I B upon 2 pi d right and this we denote by a small f any specific quantity is normally denoted by a small letter so number of electrons per unit volume is represented by small n okay if you want to represent the absolute number it can be represented by capital n Okay, so where, wherever it is something per something, okay, the normal convention is to switch to a small letter. So I denote this by small f and it becomes mu naught into Ia into Ib upon 2 pi d, right, this 2 pi D. This is the force per unit length. Fine. This is the force per unit length. Before going ahead, I'd like to tell you something. That in this case, in the case of currents, parallel wires, wires moving moving parallel to each other what happens is what happens is the light if the direction is the same the force is an attractive one 
okay so you can say here it is something opposite to what we had seen in the in a in the electrostat here the likes attract this is only a mnemonic right this is only to aid you in quickly getting the direction of the force that is all otherwise it follows all those three principles either you go by by f is equal to q into v cross b or you find out the direction of f by i l cross b right this is the first one to find out the direction of the force this is the second one and there is also the third one what is that what is that the the Fleming's left hand rule left hand rule you apply any of these three you will immediately get the direction okay so so it is not some different signs that i am talking about i am only talking about a mnemonic that will help you quickly arrive at the direction so if the currents are going in the same direction that's what i am calling lights there instead of repelling as it does in electrostatics it attracts and unlikes that means anti parallel currents they'll attract unlikes repel. unlikes will repel right so if if this current was in this direction correct so so let me let me kind of just do that if the current ib was in the opposite direction so had the direction been this right then l cross b would have been in this direction no you see that because seeing from here it would have been counter clockwise had it been counter clockwise it would have come towards you so it would have it would have it would have repelled correct it would have repelled so when you are dealing with parallel currents this is what happens correct right 